Hi, yeah, today we've got a really great and funny lesson for you with Despicable Me. But quickly, before we get into that, I wanted to let you know that if you're new here, every week we help you to understand fast speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. Just like Mira, who says that now her English learning is fast thanks to our lessons. So we'll help you to reach your English learning goals too. It's really simple. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss any of our new lessons. I'm having a bad, bad day. It's about time that I get my way. Stay rolling whatever I see. Huh, despicable me. I'm having a bad, bad day. If you take it personal, that's okay. You will not cry or sneeze or barf or fart. No annoying sounds. Does this count as annoying? <sighs> Sorry to bother you, Mr. Perkins, but I figured that you would want to see this! <laughs> well done, Gru. Rather impressive. Now, the rest of the plan is simple. I fly to the moon. I shrink the moon. I grab the moon. I sit on the toilet with what? <laughs> Sorry? Sorry! Did you... Excuse me for just one second. I told you not to touch me. I told you, I told you, I told you. I told you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. hey, can we order pizza? Pizza? You just had lunch. Not now, for dinner. Dinner? Just fine, 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 whatever. Just get back in there. Oh, can we get stuffed crust? Stuffed crust. I'll stuff you all in the crust. <laughs> You're funny. Just don't come out of that room again. Ah, all right. Sorry about that. Ah, where were we? You were sitting on the toilet. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. It was a little attempt at humor. I know how much you like to laugh. Now, we have just seen that the main character of this movie, a supervillain named Gru, is pitching a plan to steal the moon to his boss. A pitch is a quick presentation in which you try to convince someone to do something. For example, a salesperson would make a sales pitch to try to get you to buy his or her product. We can also use this as a verb, to pitch something to someone. Now, although it is unlikely that you will ever have to pitch about something as sinister as stealing the moon, this scene is full of polite expressions and collocations that will help you if you ever need to sell an idea or make a presentation at work. Let's take a look. Aha. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Perkins, but I figured that you would want to see this. <laughs> If you bother someone, it means you're being annoying to him or her. The phrase, sorry to, is used to make something sound polite, especially when it causes some inconvenience to another person. For example, we could also say, sorry to interrupt you. Example, sorry to interrupt you, but would you like anything else to drink? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Perkins, but I figured that you would want to see this. Figure that is an expression used when you expect or think that something is going to happen. In this case, Gru thought that Mr. Perkins would like to see his new weapon. Which of these other common expressions can you use in a similar way? In fact, we use both I guess that and I bet that to express that we expect something is true. Let's watch some examples. All right. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Well, I guess we'll go back home and uh, brush up on the anemone. You coming, Dory? Take him away. 
I bet we get the rest of the day off. You idiot, they're gonna shut down the factory. <gasps> hey, let me ask you, do you ever feel confused or lost when you listen to natives? We don't exactly speak like you learn in school. We don't pronounce everything like you're expecting, you miss words, and in real life, natives just speak so fast, right? Well, how would you like to be able to understand natives even when we speak really fast? Well, we have a three-part masterclass that will teach you the three keys to being able to understand natives at any speed. And the best part is you can sign up for free by clicking up here or down in the description below, and we look forward to meeting you inside. Now, let's get back to the lesson. Well done, Gru. Rather impressive. Even though rather means more or less, it can also be used to give emphasis to an adjective or adverb, as is the case here. Now, if you want to show that you prefer something over another thing, you could say rather than or that you would rather that thing. Let's watch some examples of this word being used. <laughs> give me the scroll. I would rather die. So then I was all like, I'd rather get the Black Plague and lock myself in an Iron Maiden than go out with you. Oh, totally. Now, the rest of the plan is simple. I fly to the moon. I shrink the moon. I grab the moon. Shrink means to become smaller or to make something smaller. Which of these phrasal verbs means the opposite of to shrink? Example, I'm going to get this photo I took during our vacation blown up and framed. Now grab means to take hold of something or someone suddenly with your hand. So Gru is planning to steal the moon, and to make that possible, he wanted to make it smaller and just take it. Can we order pizza? Pizza? You just had lunch. Not now, for dinner. Dinner? Now, this section is perfect for you to learn some native speech patterns and improve your pronunciation. First, we will look at a common example of sound morphing. When we have a word ending in D, followed by a word beginning with Y, like you, they will often connect and the D plus Y morphs to a J sound. I told you, I told you. Had you seen it, had you seen it. He made you, he made you. Let's listen to it again in this scene and then practice by repeating after Guru. Can we order pizza? All right, next we have some fantastic examples of how natives often reduce words. First, Margot asks, Can we order pizza? Natives usually reduce the auxiliary verb can to kin. So it's not, can we order pizza? It's, can we order pizza? This type of reduction often happens with prepositions too. We see this when Edith says for. In fact, she doesn't say for dinner, she says, for dinner. So for usually reduces to fur. Now let's watch that part again and repeat after the girls to practice. Can we order pizza? Pizza? You just had lunch. Not now, for dinner. Do you want to learn more about how natives really speak? Check out this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you're going to see why fast speaking natives are so difficult to understand. And you will even train your pronunciation to speak more clearly and fluently. Can we order pizza? Pizza, you just had lunch. Not now, for dinner. Dinner? Just fine, 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 whatever, just get back in there. In this scene, Gru is dealing with the girls while Mr. Perkins waits. So, in order to move on with the situation, he says, fine, whatever. This is an expression used when you don't care about something, or when you don't think something is important. That silly Buzz Lightweight can't help you. <laughs> His name is Buzz Lightyear. Whatever. Boys hated those upstart space toys. 
You have saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. Yeah, 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 whatever. Oh, can we get stuffed crust? Mmm, stuffed crust. I'll stuff you all in the crust. <laughs> If something is stuffed, it's packed full of something. And the crust is the hard part on the outside of bread or other foods like pizza. So stuffed crust is when the pizza has cheese and possibly other toppings inside of the crust. Here, Gru tries to reply to the girls with an insult, but as he is angry and in a hurry, he fails completely, which makes it funny. Sorry about that. Ah, where were we? You were sitting on the toilet. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. It was a little attempt at humor. I know how much you like to laugh. An attempt is an effort to achieve or complete something, usually something difficult. This word can be used in different ways, as a noun. Oh, I can't believe that. Your unwillingness to accept empirical evidence suggests an attempt at flattery. And also as a verb. All right. Leonard is attempting to learn why subatomic particles move the way they do. So Gru lied by saying he was trying to make a joke because he didn't want Mr. Perkins to know about the girls. I was saying you don't seem terribly focused, Gru. Believe me, I am completely focused. I... Hello! Ah. Whoa! That guy is huge. Are we what are you, children? What are you doing? I told you to stay out of here! Gru, <laughs> <laughs> stop! Ah! Whoa. Whoa, no, 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 no! Freeze ray! Mr. Gru! As I was saying... No need to continue. I've seen quite enough. But my plan... is a great plan. I love everything about your plan. Except for one thing. You. I was... saying... You don't seem terribly focused, Gru. Believe me, I am completely focused. So, you probably know that if something is terrible, it is very bad. However, terribly is used to emphasize an adjective, whether it is good or bad. Other alternatives to this word could be very or extremely. Example, I'm terribly disappointed I couldn't be there. Or, I'm terribly excited about tonight's show. To be focused means that you're paying special attention to something. I... Hello! Ah. Whoa! That guy is huge. Are we what are those children? You probably know what huge means. In a literal way, it is something or someone extremely large or big. Now, another way to use this word could be when talking about quantities, as in the phrase, there is a huge amount of people there. Or when talking about something of great importance or seriousness. For example, he's made a huge mistake. It's... Big? Oh, you're just saying that. No, 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 I mean it. It's huge. Hey, if you're enjoying this lesson, then I highly recommend you check out our recent lesson with Ice Age for even more animated fun. You can find that by clicking up here or down in the description below after you finish this lesson. What are you doing? I told you to stay out of here. <laughs> Bruce, stop. Ah. Whoa. Whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> As I was saying... No need to continue. I've seen quite enough. Rays are radiation that streams off of something. For example, you need to wear sunscreen at the beach to protect yourself from the harmful UV rays from the sun. Or an x-ray that a doctor might take to see inside your body. The freeze ray is a weapon that Gru invented, and we can see here what it does. Often, in science fiction, we will see weapons that shoot rays that can have different effects. I'm having a bad, bad day. It's about
about time that I get my way. Steam rolling in whatever I see. Oh. Please, 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 please. I'm having a bad, bad day. As I was saying. No need to continue. I've seen quite enough. If you were talking about something and got distracted or interrupted, as I was saying, is a common and polite collocation to refer back to a previous statement. <sighs> but, as I was saying, I like to look at the goblet as half full. <laughs> you can tell someone that there's no need for them to do something as a way of telling them that it is not necessary. Quite means very, but not extremely. If you've had or seen quite enough, it means you need to stop doing what you're doing, or you're telling someone to stop doing something. Yes, things are going quite well, quite well, my god, no complaints. But my plan is a great plan. I love everything about your plan, except for one thing, you. to bother you, Mr. Perkins, but I figured that you would want to see this! <laughs> well done, Gru. Rather impressive. Now, the rest of the plan is simple. I fly to the moon. I shrink the moon. I grab the moon. I sit on the toilet with what? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Did you, uh, excuse me for just one second. Told you not to touch me. Thanks. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Can we order pizza? Pizza? You just had lunch. Not now. For dinner. Dinner? Just fine. 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 Whatever. Just get back in there. All in the crust. <laughs> You're funny. Just don't come out of that room again. Ah, all right. Sorry about that. Ah, where were we? You were sitting on the toilet. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. It was a little attempt at humor. You like to laugh. Inside there now, I was saying. You don't seem terribly focused, Gru. Believe me, I am completely focused. Told you to stay out of here! Mr. Crow! Okay! As I was saying... No need to continue. I've seen quite enough. But my plan... Is a great plan. I love everything about your plan. Except for one thing. You. Shifu found him as a cub. And he raised him as a son. And when the boy showed talent in Kung Fu, Shifu trained him. He believed in him. He told him he was destined for greatness. It was never enough for Talon. He wanted the Dragon Scroll. <laughs> 